Today I'm going to share a haul that I just received from Studio Calico and also something from an Australian store. So I'll start with my order from Studio Calico. So I got a few extras this month. I got, ah, they come in these little plastic baggies. Um, some staples from American Crafts and these are from the Basics collection you get 1600 staples now I don't have an American Crafts stapler but I have the Tiny Attacher and I'm hoping they look to be the same size so I should be able to use them in the Tiny Attacher which will be good because then I've got coloured staples although you can colour these Tim Holtz um, staples with Sharpie pens as well if you don't have um, the coloured staples. I also got these month tabs from the Colour Theory collection. These are the mint hint um, colours and they've just got the months of the year. Next I got the subscriber exclusive for um, the Odyssey kit which was this month some puffy stickers from Hello Forever. So I think they're all by, oh no, one of the, two of them are by Hello Forever and one is by Shio Calico. So these ones are like all little, um, like sort of emoticons. They'd be really cool in a planner I think or... I mean, there's cute ones for scrapbooking. I really like the pineapple. I think that's really awesome, but I'm a big pineapple fan. So there's lots of cute things in there to use. Um, I can't remember how much these were. I think they might have been $9 for all three packets. Next up, you get the um, actual smiley emoticons. So you've got all sorts of different... Um, expressions so you've got crying laughing um, love hearts all sorts of things and this one I assume is designed by the studio calico and is an alphabet I didn't get this for the alphabet because I mean to me it's kind of pointless because there's only two A's two E's so you're only getting I mean there's only one O oh no there's two they're not together um like to me, there's just not enough vowels in this package to make it worthwhile. But I liked these two, which is why I got that pack. I also got the um, mint hint um, label label die cuts and. I got two packages of those, that's weird. I think I actually ordered a different colour, so they sent me two of the same, that's odd. really odd. But anyway, that's fine. Unless they mucked up, I don't know. Maybe they did. That's a bit weird. So yeah, anyway, they pop out, and I'll just pop one out. And they've got some gold foil words on them. No, maybe they do come like that because there's different words. So I'm not actually positive, to be honest. If so, that's really cool. The other colour I got is this grey, and I'm not sure what the actual colour name for this is. It's just a grey colour, and they do have the same words as the mint. So, I mean, they are versatile words. Good for um, project life. So they were my little extras, and then I also got one, two, three, four, five packages of these. They were out of stock when I went to get them last time, and they were in stock, and I was already ordering extra stuff anyway, so I got them. They're super cheap and they are doilies now. You may wonder why I even bothered to order these from Studio Calico. Well, I don't know, but I've 
seen these on pages and I'll show you the ones I mean the ones we get here are the only ones I've seen here in Australia which I have in my stash uh, these ones which to me they're fine but they're like got quite a bold like pattern whereas these are more intricate I like these a lot better and I think these would look a lot cuter so that's why I got those and they're only a dollar for 10 doilies so I've got five packs for 50 doilies for five dollars so that was my extras from my order and then I, of course I got my kit which I believe is the March kit, yep. Called Odyssey. I'll just pop all of this stuff out. Sorry for all the noisy packaging. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Okay, so first of all you get this Studio Calico roller stamp. Um, I really wish I could have liked the rest of the scrapbooking kit because it had a roller stamp by Cal Bartes Bartesky, I think that's her name, and she has her brush script on it, but I just didn't like the rest of the kit, so it didn't seem like a point, really. But this one has, like, the days of the week, and it's got today, today, and then morning, noon, night, 2015, and here and now. You also get... This roll of washi tape, which to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of because I don't really love red colours. I'm not, I find it hard to use them. And it's, actually, it's more of an orange, and it's just, oops, it's got the numbers. So, I don't know about that. I don't really know about this whole kit to be honest, but I'll make it work. So this is March 2015 Odyssey and the featured artist is Peppermint Granberg Jones and she is from the creator of One Little Bird Designs, if I look at that, I think. Right. So in this little baggie you get, looks like some resin, yep, some cute resin stars. I love that colour, that's really cute. So I do like those, I'll leave those in my room. Now these must be specialty cards, so these are really pretty, be present. I like that a lot. And there's like this, it's not, it's like a wonky polka dot. And then these cards are just for their advertising, their new brand. So that's Amelia and Baxter, so they sent some cards just advertising that. And you get a plastic shape, which is a hashtag and you could probably use that as I mean you could stick it down as it is or you could use it as a stencil so that's pretty cool you get these grey alphas and you get an uppercase and a lowercase you also get these label, these are not like a mint colour, they're sort of, I don't know what to call this colour. And they're pop out labels, so you've got, oops. And they've got a foiled, I don't know if you can see that with my finger there, a foiled number. And it's 1 through to 32. So I'm not quite sure what I'll do with those yet. Next up you get these chipboard circle pieces, um, I don't know, I don't know if I like those. 
And so that's the embellishments. And now I'll show you the cards. I think I was just a bit blah about the whole Odyssey thing. I don't know, I might like it better in press and I haven't actually opened this. I just got it in the mail. So there's this craft design with these little plus symbols and this navy stripe. There's some lemons. I don't actually know how to say that. I will admit, like blurg or something. I don't know. Smile. And blue polka dot. I do like, I'm a big fan of yellow. And it's harder to get yellow. So I do like the yellow in this kit. So these are the three by fours. Yes. Meh. I do like these cards that represent the days that aren't so great because there's plenty of those as well. This one to celebrate St. Pat's Day, which we didn't really do much, but I did dress my son in green. <laughs> spring, which is totally not spring here in Australia. We are in autumn and it's starting to get cold. So I may either cover that up or put that away for next year or sorry the end of this year <laughs> go into the world and do good I really like that quote and my camera is not focused and there we go I love this one it's like watercolor splotches That's super cool this is spring, so I'll probably definitely use that side. It's a black and white design. Selfie fail. I'm pretty sure I've got plenty of those. Especially ones with my son. We do selfies. It's fun. Hello spring. Hello autumn, more like it. So yeah, <laughs> that may have to go away. I don't know why there'd be a three, but I suppose at the moment I have a family of three. It's just me, my partner, and my baby. So maybe I could do that. It's a map. No Australia. <laughs> I don't really like that pattern. I think that's kind of gross. Oh, no, it's horrid. It's all over the other side. Um, this one says, I can't even. And there's like quotation marks and it says on the bottom it said no one ever. Ooh, that's really cool. I love that card. I could have like a million of that. It's got like you can enter your or put the number of how many um here we use degrees Celsius it was. I mean, I think that'd be good for winter because we get very cold here in little Tasmania. Um, dear something, keep being awesome, love me. That's cute. Yeah, so that's the Odyssey kit. I mean, I do like it, but I don't love it. So, but I'll get over it. <laughs> and at least there's a stamp, because stamps you can use over and over again. Also, the last thing I got, and I haven't opened it, and I haven't tried it, um, pages to scrap which is in Tuggera I think I hope that's how you say it in New South Wales had a 40% off sale um, so I knew that um, Adele had is that's a local shop to her and she told me that they had these gold trimmers and I really needed a new trimmer I not that long ago got a new trimmer but I hate it so um, I am going to give this one a try. Fiskars have a good reputation and this one is super cute. It's gold. Um, and it's by Teresa Collins. So I probably should zoom out. Hey, you can see my messy desk. Um, so yeah, it's a Fiskars Teresa Collins and it's called 
just called Paper Trail. Yeah, so um, it's got a swing out arm and yeah, I'm just going to give it a go. It's It retails at $39.99, but I got it for, I think it came down to $20 something dollars. I can't tell on here because I had to pay postage as well. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to give this one a go. And I might even do like a review or something on this trimmer. As opposed to the other two trimmers that I have. Which I will also talk about maybe in another video. So um, yeah, I'm really happy with what the postie bought me today. But it's a rainy, horrible day here. And it's really dark. So I don't know that I'm going to film any videos. I think I'm going to go lounge on the couch and watch Pretty Little Liars because I'm eager to find out who A is and those that don't watch the show are probably wondering what on the earth I'm talking about. But anyway, I'm going to go now before I keep blubbering on. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you soon. Bye!